In her address, Ipumbu says there is a need for government to enact the consumer protection law without delay to cater for consumers' interests. We have noted the collisions between especially the law enforcement and the traders. And that's why we are here today to explain this law to you in nitty gritties to engage and for us to get a common understanding on the application of this law going forward. And while now we talk about the, the, the laws and, and the, all these regulations, at the end of them there is a consumer who is supposed to be the beneficiary of these laws. The consumer's rights are also in many aspects violated. Uh, the, the consumers, they have the right to drink their alcohol, but they also have a responsibility and a duty to ensure that they are drinking and their intoxication level do not get to betray the rights of the next person. Also speaking at the event is the governor of the Erongo region, Neville Andre. Erongo region um, is very critical in terms of what we are going to discuss today. Um, we have quite a lot of uh, shipments that are operating under the Liquor Act and we and those uh, that specific act put uh, the public and the operators into conflict. You find uh, in the com in the community um, neighbors are fighting each other, are taking each other to court because there's a, you know a, a nuisance that uh, that is every time being created by shibins or the kids cannot study. Or, and all those, uh, all the churches are also not, you know, there's always that challenge. And I think, uh, uh, you know, especially the Sokob and Buffers by are very much affected by so, some of these uh, uh, activities or, or operations. And this, what some participants had to say. For consumers to be part of the decision making uh, process, if we are part of that process and we know our rights, actually in a way forces uh, uh, businesses to up their game because they know that uh, when you are in a, in a business environment it's a very competitive